Hi there, this is Ranjit and uh, you'll notice that this is a completely different setup. Actually, I am in Goa and uh, actually uh, when I did the uh, camera review for the Galaxy S6, quite a few of you have asked me to also test out the camera performance of the iPhone 6 and as I was traveling, uh, I thought why not uh, just do that and uh, I'm taking a vacation in Goa for the next couple of days. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking a lot of pictures with both the devices, that's the iPhone 6 and the Galaxy S6 and uh, put them side by side so that you can compare which one does a better job as it's a typical vacation we'll be taking a lot of snaps in variety of conditions like low lighting outdoor etc and also we'll take some snaps at interesting places that i visit in goa so i hope this uh, video will be pretty interesting and i do note that there are uh, there is a, a bit of difference between the cameras of the iphone 6 and the s6 actually the s6 has a wider view so the uh, what do you say perspective might be a little bit different i don't want to change that for example even the iphone 6 at its highest resolution that's 8 megapixel shoots at 4 by 3 whereas the galaxy s6 has a 16 megapixel sensor and at that 16 megapixel it shoots in 16 by 9 so i won't be changing all those things so uh, the perspective might be a little bit different but uh uh, to be fair, I won't be using any of the manual modes on both these devices and I'll be using the native camera apps on both these devices. Uh, so again guys, uh, will be an interesting video. Do share your thoughts uh, in the comment section in uh, specific areas which you uh, feel that the iPhone 6 does better and where the Galaxy S6 does better. We'll start with the static pictures that I've taken and I've taken these pictures in bright sunlight. This is my wife and uh, as you can see, uh, we have the S6 on the left and the iPhone 6 on the right. And that's my daughter. The pictures in 4 by 3 ratio are by the iPhone and in widescreen are by S6. I haven't changed the aspect ratio of the pictures. And when I took the pictures, it was a bright sunny day. So these were some of the pictures taken in bright outdoor lighting. Let's also look at some pictures in semi-indoor lighting. By the way, don't forget to comment about the pictures in the uh, YouTube comment section. The pictures on S6 look a little bit more vibrant and brighter. But for this specific picture, I felt the iPhone 6 did better. Some more pictures. And before we continue, let me actually show you some of the videos. Then I'll show you some of the snaps taken on the beach. Uh, just shooting this video with the iPhone 6 and the Galaxy S6 and I'm doing this handheld uh, so to show you how it does video recording let me just pause and uh, let me just plan and this is the resort that I'm staying in uh, so again recording this at 1080p both with the iPhone uh, 6 and the Galaxy S6 uh, Sort of outdoor lighting I would say I am chilling out in uh, Goa And uh, I hope I just don't fall out of this Anyways guys Sample video footage of the iPhone 6 at the highest setting possible uh, That is 1080 This sample footage is with the Galaxy S6 and I'm recording it at 4K as it supports 4K video recording. So slowly going to pan around. Uh, so this is a sample footage at uh, 4K with the Galaxy S6. Both the S6 and the iPhone 6 support slow motion video but the S6 records at 120 frames per second whereas the iPhone 6 can record at 240 frames per second and as you can see the iPhone 6 slow motion video is definitely better. Here is some more footage of slow motion between the S6 and the iPhone 6 but one thing that I have noticed is that in uh, evening, uh, I would say the footage in slow motion with the iPhone 6 is a little bit dull. It requires a lot of good lighting. Some pictures with the front facing camera. The first one is with the iPhone 6. This is with the Galaxy S6. And I do notice that the S6 front facing camera has a wide angle lens. And definitely the pictures with the front facing camera of the S6 are way sharper. Both devices can shoot panoramas and as you can see both do a very good job but one thing I notice is that with the iPhone panoramas only work in portrait mode not in the landscape mode. 
Now these pictures were shot in low lighting at night and uh, this one's taken with the iPhone 6. Uh, this here I enabled the flash, this was with the S6 and I feel the iPhone 6 flash did a better job. Again this was taken with the S6, this again taken with the iPhone 6. Uh, and I feel the S6 uh, does a little bit better in lighting due to the lens. The lens on the S6 gathers more light and again this was with the S6 and this one was with the iPhone 6. This one was a very interesting picture and here I would say the picture on the iPhone 6 was much better because the picture with the S6 was a little bit faded. The colors are faded on that. Here we are looking at the depth of field or the bokeh effect that we can get. And as you can see both the devices you can get a decent amount of bokeh effect. But I do feel that the bokeh effect and the depth of field is slightly better on the Galaxy S6. Let me also show you some sample shots that I have taken on the beach. And before I conclude and give you my conclusion, I would love to know your thoughts about the picture. So just pause this video and share your opinions in the comment section and in which area do you think the iPhone 6 did better and in which area did the Galaxy S6 did better. So which camera is better, the iPhone 6 or the Galaxy S6? I would say it's not that easy because in some aspects I felt that the iPhone 6 did better but in some other aspects the Galaxy S6 did better. So I will be discussing, I made some pointers so I'll be discussing about them. First thing is regarding focusing. I found both the devices to have very quick focusing. So I would say it's sort of neutral. But in depth of feel and the bokeh effect, I did feel that the Galaxy S6 went slightly ahead. Also, when we talk about the uh, video quality, let's first talk about the raid facing camera. I do feel that the video quality is sharper with the Galaxy S6, both at 1080p and obviously at 4K. Uh, but when we talk about video stabilization, here the, uh, the iPhone 6 is way better. I would say the video stabilization on the iPhone 6 is so good that it looks like that you are uh, uh, shooting the video on a hardware rig. When we talk about uh, the video with the front facing camera, here the situation changes completely. And here I would say uh, the Galaxy S6 front facing camera is way better both in static pictures as well as in the video. In fact in video, it can record video all the way up to 2K. So in the front facing camera, I would definitely say that the Galaxy S6 is better. Now if we to, uh, move to the pictures that we took in artificial lighting, here I will say for the most part the pictures that we took in semi-indoor conditions like in restaurants etc, uh, the, uh, I would say the Galaxy S6 did better. Uh, but again in very low lighting conditions sometimes I did feel that the iPhone 6 did better particularly in the color reproduction in uh, some of the pictures. But when we move to pictures that we take in outdoor conditions in bright uh, sunlight, here again the Galaxy S6 did better, the pictures were brighter and also they had a lot more detail and were sharper. Uh, also when we move to panorama, both these devices did very good. But one thing as I mentioned even earlier is when you take the panoramas with the iPhone 6, it only works in this orientation, it does not work in the landscape orientation. Whereas with the S6, it works both in the portrait as well as in the landscape orientation. Now if we uh, actually move to the pictures that we took in uh, low lighting. Uh, here I would say I had mixed results for the most part overall I would say here again the S6 did better uh, thanks to the lens that is used. The, uh, it has a f1.9 lens which can gather a lot more light and also it has optical image stabilization. So I would say in uh, low lighting shots and in night shots actually the S6 did better but again in some of the shots as I mentioned earlier uh, the color accuracy was a little bit off with the S6. So again, as you can see, in some aspects, uh, the iPhone 6 did better and in some aspects, the Galaxy S6 did better. But personally for me, if I would have to choose between both these devices, I would definitely go with the S6 because the front facing camera is far superior and also the rear facing camera for most of the pictures uh, that we take in daylight conditions and outdoor conditions, uh, the S6 did better. Yes, I know the video stabilization is better on the iPhone 6 but overall for my personal use, if I had to choose, I would go with the Galaxy S6. I hope that you found this uh, video helpful and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.